name is Jess, and I voice Emery. What's up? I'm Souza, or the Avink. I play Stalik and voice Sakura. Hi, I'm Cheyenne, and I play Bryn. I'm Johnny, and I am playing the character Yannick. Hi, I'm Camille, and I play Cassia, the Oracle of Flame. I'm Sean, and I'm GMing this campaign. I voice Bane with a Y, Jin Hung, Hiro, Yonko, Kenzin, and pretty much anyone else that shows up. Please send help. Thanks, Thanks for listening! Last time on Magical Bullshit, our adventurers made their way toward the feast at Herbalden. While still getting used to their new forms, they fought with traveling songs, disappointing news, and oh yeah, flying wolves! Now that they've successfully defeated those doggos at Tag, what will they find within the walls of this new city? Let's find out in this episode of Magical Bullshit. As you approach the edge of the town, you see two giant-sized helmets and halfling-sized spears. Giant helmets and miniature spears. Yes. About double human size for helmets, about half size hum- human size for spears. What's in between the helmet and the spear? <laughs> <laughs> Air. <laughs> uh, they are, so the spears are standing straight up, um, and they appear to be in contact. With? <laughs> with, with each other. Okay. Spear. The spears are just... Yeah. Just like, so so are we talking like... like People people, or like potato people, <laughs> or They're staring me down, I can't not <laughs> metagame this, like, staring me down, we, man. We do have Spoilers. a drawing of them on the whiteboard. Spoilers. From a distance, you, they appear as helmets on the ground. Okay. I think someone melted. <clears throat> are, are, are those supposed to be guards or something? I can't see. Can you guys see them? Maybe someone just dressed up some rocks? I mean, that, that'd be taking the whole pit rock thing a little too far, I'd think. Well, I mean, people are weird. Eh, that's true. So we're all walking, right? Yes. Unless otherwise stated, you were walking to the city and noticed these helmets on the ground next to spears kind of in the air. The spears are upright. They're upright, yeah. Do the voices Nobody in our head say anything? Probably. Like, do they find this weird at all? Not particularly, but you're not really sure how much they are able to take in mm. as uh, as you are perceiving the world. Mm. That said, it is well beyond your perception right now. Oh. So yeah, I'm striding right along. <laughs> I forgot about that. I yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Everyone but he did. Yeah. I good. forgot That's about it until I listened to your uh, Forgot intro about again. what? Uh, Cassia, as an oracle, has a curse that she can only see... Uh, 30 feet away from her at the furthest and uh, it has as she's gotten so used to it that it has become uh, something ingrained into her, into her mentality and now carries over to all of her characters. Is that not freaking Sakura the hell out that she suddenly can't but see? Sakura, Sakura can see it. just fine. Oh, okay. Sakura <laughs> can see it. Yeah. So, so basically That's if fantastic. I need to see distances I let Sakura... What do you see? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> The, the mental version of him. <laughs> yeah. You can have control of the eyes only. <laughs> I keep full motor functions. <laughs> okay, so we've got either pet rocks that got dressed up as guards or, I don't know, armed slimes? Someone melted. Hello? Uh, guards? People? Creatures? Hello? Are you talking to rocks? <laughs> How Have you close met her? are you before you <laughs> before you speak out towards the helmets on the ground? Um, I'd say we're... I, I'm kind of just, like, yelling from a little distance away. Okay. To just see if there's any reaction at all. So it'd probably yeah. depend on the tree line, how far... Yeah. At, like, at what point we could see them and clearly see that there's not really anything there. Mm-hmm. Maybe 40, 50 feet. Okay. Yeah. This is a city that is embedded within the... Trees. Mm. So probably close cool then. Yeah. yeah. So you'd be. <laughs> so as you get to about 25, 30 feet away, the helmets spring up a bit, just a, a sudden jump, and then are slightly bouncy around. 
The spheres tilt in your direction. Any squishy, bubbly sounds coming from their direction. Okay, and definitely armed slimes. <laughs> Seuss is getting... fighting my inner baba. <laughs> uh, I'm fighting glub glub. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, they all speak the same language. Do though. though. <laughs> so, Stalik, you get a general sense of what these sounds mean. What languages do I speak? Oh, yeah. What languages do you speak? <laughs> the answer is in there. It is in there. Uh, Cassia, you get a very clear understanding uh, hearing these things not making bubble sounds, so these apparent slimes call out to you, HALT! I halt, but everyone else keeps walking yeah. and I don't understand, yeah. so I'm the only one halting, and I just look around like, okay then. Emery keeps on walking on totally <laughs> oblivious, but very fascinated by these armed slimes, because slimes should not be armed. The other one the other one gets a little louder. HALT! By order of the king, no one is center. No outsiders! Uh, guys, they're, they're telling us to halt. They talk? They sound like bubbles. What? We, we're not outsiders. We were sent by the king. The, Did it work? Did it yeah, <laughs> what the kid said. <laughs> One helmet looks at the other. Wait, wait. Are these... Walk They're the heroes! Walk, walk normal. Walk normal. They're the heroes, you idiot. Is this still an Aquan or whatever language? Yes. Okay. You are. You still have 100% awareness of what they're saying, not wait. how they're saying it. <laughs> hey... That's basically what you hear. Wait, Cassia, you, you understand what they're saying? Uh, yeah, they're talking plain common to me. I hear bubbles. Yeah, it just sounds like a slime to me. <laughs> yeah, like that. Really, hero? Really. So, Stalik, as you respond to them, trying to explain that you are sent here, you do have the option to try to speak in common or in this other language that you're kind of just interpreting the meaning of. I would probably respond in common, just because it's the natural mm. instinct. <clears throat> okay. So the, uh, the, the once they said, oh, those are the heroes, did the spears stop pointing at us? Uh, no. They're still just trying to figure stuff out between themselves. Casually start walking again. <laughs> Well, I, I also stepped forward to join the main group again because I had halted before everyone else. And I um, say, I don't know how much control I have over this, but if I can speak in the bubbly language, I say in the bubbly language, uh, we're here under orders from King Leader. Please let us in. As you attempt to speak in this language that's unfamiliar to you, but you can dig around for the words, mm -hmm. the Iscarian words come fairly naturally to you once you start to let them work. Mm -hmm. Roll a perception that's more than three. <laughs> <laughs> You're not normally supposed to tell me what I'm trying to be. Just keep rolling. Just don't be stupid. <laughs> Ooh, I got 15. Not 15. Okay. You realize after you've said it that the translation for King Leader is Ublek. Yay! The mystery is solved! <laughs> <laughs> not that you knew that word at all before. Yeah. But okay. for, for the sake of your sanity... Okay. Have this thing. My, my meta sanity. Yeah. My character sanity is intact. <laughs> supposedly. For now. We'll see. I mean, she is an oracle. However sane she was to begin with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that said, if you want a solid answer on any mysteries as you figure them out, let me know. What, what does North is. translate to? That is a thing that I had forgot to create an answer for. Oh. Okay, I'll ask you again later. Yeah. <laughs> Roughly three hours. <laughs> <laughs> or until the next session. Oh. But north north does translate to a thing. And east translates to a thing? Yes. Okay, good. I have forgotten what you just said to the slimes. There's too much excitement. We were under, under order from under... King Leader. Yeah. Let us in. Okay. I'm just going to keep walking like I own the place, because bitch, please. <laughs> uh, both slimes... Well, one, one of them drops his spear tip to the ground. The other raises his up high again. The one who drops it calls out to you again, Heroes! Heroes! Please, follow me! And turns his back to you and starts to jiggle bounce down the road. We're to follow him. Right, because there's nothing weird about that at all. The other slime guard jiggle bounces towards the actual edge of the guard, guard, post, guard station where many pots and pans are hanging and smacks all of them with his spear. 
is a unique racket. <laughs> That's very loud. Let's go. Apparently we're supposed to follow. Yep. That way we get away from the noise at least. Follow the slime. I, th this is a weird one. I've never actively followed a slime around. I've never seen one before. How do they work? They don't look like they should be able to move. You'd think. Dear cat person, it is much simpler just to not question the mysterious. Says the oracle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, the oracle don't want no one questioning her. <laughs> Totes legit, though. <laughs> Literally. So, uh, did, did, by the way, did Cassia just lose Bryn's respect? N no, I think Bryn's just a little confused. <laughs> okay, though I guess that's kind of her natural state since this game started. <laughs> I was just curious because, like, her whole life is devoted to questioning the mysterious in a way, and then and then Casilla's here, like, like, no, don't question it. Really, I was trying to come up with a response, and then something else, the other stuff happened, so I lost it. Okay, she's distracted. <laughs> Hi, cat. She's distracted, and that's apparently the sound Yanko made as we walked in the city. <laughs> yeah, you should have one of those on your lap and just hold it up to the mic whenever you need to <laughs> squeak. <laughs> Make the sound. <laughs> All right, so we walked into the city. Yes. As you get into the city, the architecture is unusual from what you are used to, from where you each are from. Most of the doors are about four feet tall and circular. Who's mm. the hobbit holes? <laughs> Might need to corrupt Hero sooner rather than later. I can't fit through those. <laughs> <laughs> Insert Hero giving dirty look. <laughs> and there are many gelatinous shapes of varying sizes, number of flat sides, and colors. Oh, great. It, it's a city full of, full of slimes. City full of slimes. When did slimes become civilized? I'm suddenly feeling very insecure in my ooze tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is probably not a great city for me to have given you in hindsight. Ooze! Susa has some history with oh. oozes. I'm an ooze and a paladin. Like, what on earth? <laughs> thought. Like, made you think that I'd stay <laughs> here. Like, these out bitches. How does Kenzen the great slash amazing slash whatever get around this town with its four foot round doors? <laughs> oh. Every Gosh. building just has a hole in the side. <laughs> cut out Kenzen shape. <laughs> Two swings of the giant sword and makes his own entrance. <laughs> uh, <coughs> as you Kool Aid Man style. <laughs> God. Okay, canonizing this. <laughs> as you uh, walk a little further into the town, there are a couple of open doors, seem to be laid out as shops. One in particular has a hanging sign. About head height, a shield crossed with a sword in very fluorescent colors. You notice, Kenzin particularly, that there is a large gash above that door. About the width of the sword. As you continue following this one guard slime, you come to a large fountain in what you can assume to be the town center. It is more on, on the scale of about ten feet tall. There is a pillar of these solid shapes, all carved from uh, some kind of stone. Are they those solid shapes specifically? Uh, they are... Is this a very meta town? It is, it nice. is very similar shapes okay. to those. We'll like to dice. Yeah, the stacked dice. So, in a half circle around the fountain uh, courtyard area are many more slime guards 
most of them also equipped with spears raised high. As you as you enter the proper courtyard area, uh, there is much excited jiggling. Uh. I, are you sure we're supposed to be following Blob Dude? Like, are you sure? Because just act normal. Uh huh. Well, that's worked before. Britain really wants to poke one. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like it might be considered rude in slime culture. <laughs> like, she is so fascinated by the jiggly people. I think also it is it is not okay to call them that. <laughs> this, this seems like a, a mildly racist comment. I think Emery is going to walk over and subtly grab Nyanko's collar. <laughs> so, Kasia, um... You want to go on a date? Uh, notices the excited jiggliness and in um, Iskarian says... That's right, we are the heroes returned. <laughs> and, and does does kind of a puffed out chest thing. <laughs> I'm still not 100% convinced that that's a real language, but whatever it is you're doing, it seems to be working. I'm suddenly feeling like I don't want whatever feast they're going to give us. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Oddly not hungry anymore. In common, yeah. Cassia goes, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. The pathway behind you that you were just following is a bit crowded with uh, civilian slimes. <laughs> Which are told apart by their lack of armor? Yes. Okay. Uh, all... Wait, are they just naked? They have faces. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Different community standards here. <laughs> the courtyard soon fills around the edges with naked slimes. If you'd rather think of them that way. Oh my! <laughs> Are we being surrounded? There is so much noise of squishy, bubbly sounds. Ew, 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 ew! Oh god, it's just in one. Because he is uh, just rolling with it. She does the princess wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm on your, your side here. I'll just like keep being epic looking. <laughs> Everyone else is a little like uncomfortable, and I'm just like, yes! <laughs> we are cool. Now, Brit's not uncomfortable, but is also not fighting Emery's uh, gentle ghost. guiding hand. Exactly. <laughs> As Yannick observes the crowd warily. Oh yeah, you're there too. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This for Yannick. This is certainly not the first crowd that is gathered at his return to a city. Uh, it is the first. Squishy one. <laughs> Not the first naked one, but the first. <laughs> well, of course, Paladin. <laughs> totally goes with the territory. Oh no. Oh no. Warily watching the crowd. That's <laughs> <laughs> what the helmet's for. Yeah. <laughs> the visor, you just want to go, no. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the character sheets. <laughs> After a moment of taking in uh, the excitement of the crowd, uh, the center line of the guards part. And like literally, the guards <laughs> parts in half. Just <laughs> 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 One side, one side gets the spear, and the other side gets the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> the helmet just has a line, so it can also <laughs> it just becomes two <laughs> osmosis. <laughs> You know, the terrible thing is, all the suggestions that you're making, I'm not canonizing because I've actually given thought to how slimes reproduce <laughs> in this world. Is this what you do at 2 a.m. when I'm not home and you're texting me anyway? I don't have to be awake at 4 a.m.? This is usually what I do on my drives home ah. when I'm trying to not murder other people for driving slower than That's me. That's You think about slime like that. Yes. <laughs> Got it. It's quite calming. Cool. Good to know. Okay. Squish walking between the two guards that parted to make space, a one and a half meter wide and tall emerald green slime slowly walks forward to more cheer than the crowd. He 
wears a four-pointed crown and has quite an elegant beard. How does a slime have a beard? I've never seen a slime with a beard. Is it is it like just built into his face like Thanos? <laughs> it, it is not even carved work? in. No. Does he have follicles? <laughs> I'm so confused. Or it, or is it like just stuck in there? I feel like <laughs> he just shaved somebody else. Yeah. And then just like absorbed it and stuck it on the outside of his body. Just in the process of eating a very hairy someone. <laughs> Would it hurt if it got yanked on? <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it. Don't suggest that. Don't say that out loud because <laughs> science. <laughs> science gets killed. <laughs> so anyway. Curiosity killed the party. <laughs> First, What's it down this least. deep dark hole, I wonder? Cake. <laughs> the, uh, if anyone takes a second look at the pillar fountain, the topmost shape on it is perfectly cubic, happy faced, with a beard. Oh, that's adorable. We have returned to you. And bells. In fairly natural sounding comment, King calls out, Welcome back, heroes! Who oh, talks? <laughs> <laughs> and you broke the deal! I, I, I tongue-tied after a moment, but I heard a very accented buttocks. <laughs> I mean, that is a good question. You're trying so hard to speak this language. (laughs) Oh, no, wait, hang on, that wasn't right. (laughs) It could just be her go to exclamation of surprise. (laughs) Alarm. (laughs) Forever. (laughs) Now, from now on. Okay, we're not going to talk. So I was going to be like, what? I trust that you were successful in your mission. Yes, we cleared out the cave. King. Person. Thing. (laughs) Guy. The mission was a success, but there really wasn't much to be found there. (laughs) (laughs) Takes off crown and puts behind the helmet. It it was a crown-shaped helmet. Okay. Very, very evil. So, he, so you remove the... I forgot the, I was wearing it. Yeah. super duper evil crown? <laughs> How similar is the crown to the one that he's wearing? Not at all. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I'll just... Yeah. It, I, it is also four-pointed for major points, but not nothing past that. Yeah, super, super stealth-like. <laughs> super cash, just like... Whoop! <laughs> Hold it behind my head. I, sh- I should car- clarify that uh, Emery is speaking... As though she were Bane with a Y. Mm. Different voice. Mm. Yeah, Bryn is like, you know when you are leaning forward a lot to look at something, uh, and so it kind of looks like a bow-ish thing, but she's just standing there like that, staring at him. (laughs) He's so short. Just inspection hunch. Yeah, pretty much. How close are we to him? Um... Within 30 feet, right? Yes. What are we doing, guys? <laughs> um, about 10 feet away. I don't know how and I feel about being that close to a giant of, slime. You're kind of straight line, looking at a curved line, so. And what of the treasure of legend? I mean, there was some stuff, but nothing too cool. Did you find it? Depends on what it was. We found some things. But I don't know if you'd call it treasure. (laughs) I will remind you that your mission for me was to find this treasure and take it far away from us. Oh, that treasure! Yeah, yeah, we found that treasure. We can go now. (laughs) (laughs) Good, good, good! Heroes, truly! Saviors to our people! And the crowd goes insane with bubbly farts. Jumps at the noise, but this time doesn't follow. <laughs> Whoa, success! <laughs> Improvement! I am the savior of a race of slimes. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't question it. Yeah, I guess not. Well, savior status is good for something. 
Bryn's curiosity is leaching into me. Um, are there actual bubbles in the slime as they're making these bubbly noises? Uh, bubbles rise into the air slightly around them. Cool. Kind of self-creating um, celebratory confetti. <laughs> I mean, does that happen when they just talk? No. Okay. She's uh, excited it's, farts. Yeah, it has not <laughs> happened until the excited farts ends. This is so weird. Rest now, heroes. And tonight we will feast. Yeah, I'm not so sure on I'm looking forward to that one, but okay. On what do we feast? The finest cuisine, as promised. And he sounds more and more cheers. He raises himself up into a rough rectangle shape for a moment, uh, then squishes back down and turns... Jiggle walks back the way he came. I cannot explain in words how much I need Steven to animate this. <laughs> <laughs> so Bryn automatically takes, like, a, a step forward, just of, like, what? <laughs> um, uh, just just because the the, the shape change <laughs> is so... I, Bryn is so confused and curious right now. <laughs> Henry tightens her grip a little bit. <laughs> her grip on what? Like her... collar on like, her collar. Okay, okay. Yeah. I just thought like clench everything. <laughs> Before it was just kind of like there, yeah. but now I'm like <laughs> actively no, no, holding no, her. No, no, no. <laughs> Jin and Kiba. Yeah, I was actually just about to ask the same thing. Two hundred percent unfazed. This is exactly what they were expecting. Fair enough. Uh, Cassia in common asks Jin, so when he says the finest cuisine, we're talking normal food, right? Yeah, this is kind of an important question. Because if not, we can just head out now and, like, go find those wolves and roast up some meat, like, uh, Not proper... you, Kiba. You're too cute. <laughs> proper etiquette to maintain peace among peoples will require that we enjoy whatever feast is in front of us. So that's a no. Not normal cuisine. Uh, I do not know. Okay, okay. Well, it's probably Will it make us sick? It's like, I've eaten some pretty gross things, but if it won't make us sick, we could probably fake it until we make it. That is a perception, appraisal, and fortitude save that you'll have to <laughs> decide on, on later. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody have knowledge of nature? Want to figure out what these things eat? Or have you know, knowledge of nature? We can just wait 30 seconds and fast forward. I have half of the knowledges and nature is not one. Nope, nope. not. Nope. Knowledge local? I uh, mean, no apparent. Wait, is that knowledge history or nope. knowledge local? I can't tell where the X is. Oh, it's knowledge history. Okay. Now so useless. <laughs> Nyanko has knowledge local, but I don't know if this is Nyanko's local. Um, knowledge local. And until I am corrected very harshly, if you are in a place very unlike where you grew up or spent a long amount of time, knowledge local can be used as an information gathering okay. skill. Like Brynn has a lot of knowledge of random nature things. I think from being it from just going a lot of places, but she's also never seen a slime before, <laughs> so I don't think that would apply here. I cannot even imagine what a slime would eat. Uh, don't they normally eat, you know, adventurers that go too far or get too close? That's what the story Ooh, is. Me. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, not us. All right, onward, ho. The slime guard, unless you're really paying attention, he's the same color and shape as the one that led you into the city. Probably the same one. Walks up in front of you while much of the crowd disperses. Follow me, and I'll leave you to your quarters. Is he talking to us? Oh yeah, this is Inniscarian? It, it is Inniscarian. Okay, uh, Cassia translates. Uh, he says follow uh, him and he'll take you to, uh, he'll take us to our quarters. Unless, of course, there's anything else that you need to do before the feast, but... Uh, Unless there's anything probably... we need to do before the feast. I would love to read some books on history. Uh, this because... one is asking for a library. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you hear them speak common. So you start to translate anyway. <laughs> I just, you know, I just really want to learn things in my spare time about all sorts of things. The helmet turns to the side. Kevin! Kevin! This one wants to go to the library. 
another slime guard steps in front of you. He is a rather pale blue, kind of small, completely spherical. He rolls rather than squishes. Oh, that makes sense. Out of phase. Out of phase. Oh, that was a rock. The, the eyes seem to actually stay pretty level. Oh, okay. Please, please ask me about slime and anatomy. I, I, mean, I'll, I will BS so fast. We'll do, we'll do a side segment. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be some bonus content. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon exclusive. <laughs> Patreon exclusive. GM, what the fuck? <laughs> Seems valid. <Yeah. laughs> Why is this my life? <laughs> he stares down at you and then begins down? to... Down? Huh? <laughs> down at me? <laughs> He stares you down. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> and, and begins to roll in a direction. Let us know if you find out anything interesting. <laughs> and don't lose the kid. We can use him. Um, wait, uh, Cassia, can you ask if the if there is anyone any representative from a college in the city? <laughs> I can well, ask. You. Um, guard. Is there a, a college or a place of learning within this w- within this c- city? Oh yes, of course. Uh, this one would like to speak with a representative. A twelve-sided slime shakily rolls in your direction. Bryn Bryn was fascinated before. <laughs> now she's just like she's so like mind blown right now that this thing can move. Ah, <laughs> uh, so the little one. Or, so, uh, Ni- Nyanko, Bryn, which... Bryn. Bryn, okay. Uh, Bryn, uh, I know that the uh, little guy could speak some uh, Iscarian, but I don't I don't think you do. Are you sure you're okay going alone? Uh, hmm. Would you mind coming with me? Well, then then these guys don't have anyone. Uh, damn it. J- Jin Hong, do you speak Iscarian? I need to rest. <laughs> Well, if you speak Iscarian, you can go with these guys to the quarters. I I do not speak the fart language. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Emily is trying very hard not to burst out laughing because she knows that no matter what the culture, that's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 really 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 important that I figure out some things. Uh, I really. Really would love your help if you don't mind. Do you two have any questions or concerns before I head off with this one? I intend to find my room and pass out until tomorrow, or at least the feast, where I intend to get very drunk. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I missed the feast! My bad! <laughs> and you, Yannick? I have no need of further assistance. Accompany young Bryn. Okay. All right. Onward. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, it's never a good idea to split the group. Split the party. Yeah. Split the party. Uh, All right, GM, we've got a split party. Yeah. <laughs> a um, three-way split, even. Ooh, a three-way. <laughs> I'd like a representative of each group to roll a d20. Um, so, <laughs> university crowd is first. Okay. <laughs> a not initiative roll to... Just decide oh, okay. what what scene we're looking at first. People pass Wait. out or last. At least it wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> Can I run to the bathroom real quick? Sure. Thank you. Ignoring, In that case, ignoring, that, ignoring the rolls we all just yeah. made. <laughs> Sorry. To the library. Learning and knowledge and shit. The city library is about the size of a small bookstore. It is set up as a shop front uh, with a very okay. A slightly flattened D4 shaped shrivelly slime behind the counter. Someone stepped on that couch. <laughs> but they stand on top of a large stool to see over the counter with ease. Is it a toad stool? No. It's, it's just a stool. Okay. Well, uh, I am looking for history books, good sir. I have no voices for these stupid things. Oh, over here. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'll show myself. It's fine. Responding in... How is this language? Why do you keep forgetting it? Ascarian. Cantonese. First on my mind. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Close enough. (laughs) That works, I guess. Responding in a slow Ascarian. I'll do. 
Thanks. I'll go read some books. Okay. They're real books, right? They're not slime books. <laughs> Are they wet and soggy? Are they in common? <laughs> they have more questions about the books than the books can teach me. Every book you touch is very fluorescently colored. It is... There is a thick coating of slime on it. Trying to shake off just the cover of the book, just wipe that out away. Uh, the entirety of the book jiggles in your hand. Is it legible, though? It, it uh, flipping it open. It is very legible and written in a in a script that you do not initially recognize. But as you try to under, uh, as you try to make out what these figures mean or what what they are, you start to piece together their meaning. You are reading a language that you have never seen before in understanding all of the meaning. Magical bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you looking for? Just history. Okay. Roughly just from, I mean, I don't know, I guess I don't know exactly how long it's been, but just looking in the table of contents for historical, large historical acts, roughly, what, 500 years ago? Mm-hmm. Maybe maps of the area now and then like maps of the area then and like that kind of stuff just okay. any, any types of comparison and information on what might have happened specifically in that area and era 500 years ago but also just kind of since then okay in general the detailing some local history like the the founding of the city beyond that some cultural history the theories of where the slime people have come, came from so nothing immediately useful, um, but you may continue to read through. Uh, oh, well, yeah, like, whatever. For, yeah, search for a number of hours. Yeah, I will. And you can just tell me what I learned yep. later. Yeah, time's good. Boom. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Season 1 Sentience. Magical Bullshit is a Team Salt Productions podcast. It is produced by Cheyenne, Slurian, and the Avink. Editing is done by the Avink, and music is provided by Incompetech, and sound effects are found on freesound.org. If you would like to support us on Patreon, you can find us at Magical Bullshit. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. Links to everything will be in the show notes. We would love to hear your thoughts on our show. Until next time, this has been your bi-weekly dose of Magical Bullshit! In a half crescent around the fountain are many more. I say half crescent, and that makes no sense. (laughs) (laughs) It only makes sense if it's up against a wall. (laughs) (laughs) You and your geometry. (laughs) Over here, Miss Logic.